What's going on guys? Anabolic Philosopher here. Quick, gonna bring you a workout. This is gonna be a three day split of upper and lower. Um, so you're gonna do this, say if you do it on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you're gonna do one week upper, lower, and then upper, and then the next week you're gonna do lower, upper, lower. So one week you'll be hitting upper body twice, next week you'll be hitting lower body twice. I'm gonna show you first um, the lower, or the upper body exercises, and then after that I will show you the lower body portion. This should only take you about 30 minutes, so let's get to it. Yeah! I try to get ready for summer. Yeah! All right, so here we go. We're gonna start off with chest, upper body day. We're gonna do a stability ball, chest press. Um, the reason why I'm having you do this exercise on a stability ball is because not only are we focusing on our chest, but now we have to engage our core. As you can see from this shot, you keep your core nice and tight, and that's gonna what that's what's gonna be keeps you balanced on the ball and keeps you um, doing proper form. Then next, you're gonna roll right into burpees. Burpees is a great total body exercise. It's great to do to get your heart rate up, get the blood pumping. Make sure that when you come down, you keep your body in a nice straight line. Don't sag at the hips. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can throw in a push up at the bottom and throw a jump in up at the end. Um, then you roll right next into dips. Bench dips, great for triceps. Um, again, there's two different variations. As you can see, the easier way to do it is with your feet in. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, like right there, you bring your feet out. But the biggest thing is making sure you're coming down and then at the top, you get a nice good squeeze to track that tricep. That's where you're gonna get the work in. Then the next round, we're gonna start off with front raises. This is gonna be working on the front delt primarily. You'll still work the rear and medial delt, but this is a target exercise for the front delt. You only need to bring the barbells um, up to shoulder length or parallel to the ground any higher and you can be risking injury into your shoulder. And then after that, you're gonna roll into lateral raises. Now we're gonna be targeting the medial delt primarily. And the same thing, you're gonna Brings your, your arms outwards, only to parallel. Then we're gonna run into mountain climbers. Mountain climbers is another great total body exercise, really targeting abs. As you can see, there's two different variations. I use one with the Bosu ball, which is for a, a harder version, and then you can do them regularly, and that is for you know a progression from that exercise. Next up, we got row. Um, rows, again, you can do this seated or you can do this standing. If you do this standing, we're now engaging our core, we're engaging your calves, we're engaging your quads, hamstrings, more muscles. More muscles you engage, more calories you're gonna be burning. Um, but again, everything's with proper form, so if you're not quite at this level, then do it seated. And just really make sure that when you pull back, you get a nice, good contraction, get that good squeeze, and really work on that middle back. Then for the um, heart rate elevation activity, you're gonna be doing jump rope just regular jump rope or you can spice it up there's different kinds you can do one foot you know if you're fancy if you're even fancier you can do like double hops you can do double skips i think i got a shot in here with me like crisscrossing i think yeah crisscrossing i knew i got that stuff in there um you know jump rope by itself can be an actual whole cardio workout maybe, maybe i'll do a video about that one day maybe i'll show you on um, this guys but it's really good for coordination as well to shirt off for a little bit, just to give you a shot of what's going on here. But this is face pull. So we hit front delt, we hit medial delt, and now we gotta hit rear delt. Um, this is probably one of the most overlooked muscles in the body. You know, just like hamstrings, it's really underused because we do a lot of pressing mo motions, a lot of pushing motions. So our front delts get so strong that they overpower, and the pec mu muscles get so strong that they overpower, and that's how you avoid um, the hunched shoulder look. All right, so now we're gonna be rolling into day two, or the other lower body part. We're gonna start off with Bar Bulgarian split squats, or just split squats. Um, the key, this is just almost like a lunge. You're gonna bring your front foot out far enough that when you're coming down, A, your knee's not coming over your toes, this is gonna be that knee injuries, and B, that when you're pressing up from the floor, or from the bottom position, that you're pushing through the heels. It's hard to see in this video because I have running shoes on, which have a natural curve in the bottom, that's why I don't squat in running shoes, but I am pushing all my weight through the heel of my shoe. Um, that's very important to activate your hamstrings, which is one of the more underlooked uh, part of the legs or overpowered by the quads. The next for your heart rate elevate activity, if you're gonna do calf, um, calf jumps or wall jumps, you're just gonna find a spot on the wall, just maybe like two or three inches above your hands when stretched out, jumping up and down, staying on your toes. Next up, we got hamstring curls. This is to further work on the hamstring. 
build that nice butt for all the ladies out there and the fellas. You gotta have a nice butt. Don't nobody wanna have anybody with no butt. That's just either way it goes. Doesn't matter. Next up, lunges. Let's take a look at this. This is really important. Lunges is a downward motion. So when you're doing lunges, practice. Look at the still shot and practice that you're coming downward. So your knees should once again be traveling over your toes and B, you should be pushing through the heel of whatever foot is in front. So start off with stationary lunges if you're really uncoordinated. And then move to walking lunges like you saw there. That way this is going to prevent knee injuries, preventing knee injuries, preventing any kind of injuries is the best way to keep making gains. Then we're going to do step ups for the heart rate activity. First one was a simple basic one. You bring your leg back a little bit, squeeze your butt, get the glutes activated. This one right here is a little bit more advanced. Bring your knee up, crunch your abs at the same time, and that's going to help you get not only glutes now, but now you're going to get some ab workout in, burn a few more calories, also working on balance. Next, calf raises. Calf raises is another really important exercise, really small thing, but a lot of people mess it up. Um, what's important about calf raises is that you come straight up. Come straight up on your feet. Don't flare your feet outwards. And really make sure that we're concentrating on the calves. And then afterwards, if you want to change it, if you bring your feet inwards, you're going to work more of the outer part of your calves. If you tilt your feet outwards like this, you're going to work more of the inner part of the calves. Just little chip, you know, little tips and tricks that I can give you guys um, to make sure that you're getting a complete workout that you need. Also, this helps if you have muscle imbalances, knee problems, you might be able to if you just change your position of what you do um, or how you do your feet, do your calf raises and build the other muscle that might be weaker, you can maybe, you know, fix some knee problems. Uh, then, next up, leg extension. So now we're getting back to quads. You got to work on quads. This is another exercise. Don't go super heavy. This exercise puts a lot of force and a lot of strain on your kneecaps. It's more important to make sure that when you're doing this, you're not feeling any knee pain and that you're getting the contraction. Um, the contraction is the biggest part of this. This is, where, this is where the work comes in, not going through the motions, not seeing how fast you can flip up 150 pounds um, or you know whatever stupid amount. You blow your knees out, once again, you're not going to be making any gains. So don't feel any knee pain when you do this. Um, then we're going to go right into a jump squat. So there's two different ways. This is the regress version that I'm showing right now. Sorry, I heard something. Um, regress version that I showed right now. If you have a TRX machine, hold on to the handles. Make sure that when you're doing the squat, you're still coming down through the heels, not going up on your toes. If you're a little bit more advanced, do free, you know, freelance uh, jump squats. As you can see, I'm still landing when I squat. I'm coming through, staying on my heels, and then exploding upwards. I don't want, I don't want you squatting down onto your toes because that's going to lead to your knees coming over your toes, and that's how you get injuries. For the final exercise, wall squats or wall sits. Now, wall sits. This is a very effective exercise because it's constantly you're in an isometric hold, which means your muscles are constantly working. Um, but if you say, if you're one of those people that say, oh, I don't ever feel it when you do wall squats, take a look at this. Look at how my legs are at a 90 degree angle. How I am parallel to the ground. Chances are, if you're not feeling it, you're just not parallel. You're not sitting low enough. Don't cheat yourself out. Sit low, get in it, and make those gains. All right, simple as that. Just do it, you're already at the gym. But I'm gonna spice it up, because that's not enough. So when we do the wall sets, I want you to also get in some ab work. So get a medicine ball, or you can even use a weight if you have like a concrete wall behind you or whatever. And you just bring it side to side. Make sure you're twisting, using those obliques, and really get that ab work in. Obliques are really important. Um, ab muscles that are also overrated, or underrated, um, and not work frequently. You doing what sucks, guys? Sorry it's been so long since I brought you another video. I've been accomplishing a lot of things and a lot of crazy stuff's been going on, but I'm making a lot of headway, bringing you more videos. Right now, it is nine o'clock as I'm filming this. My camera's about to die. I'm hoping that it's not dead right now when I'm shooting this. So if you want, if you like this content, which I know you guys are liking it, hey, at a minimum, please just hit the like button. At a minimum, just hit the little thumbs up. If you don't gotta subscribe, if you subscribe, great. If you subscribe, you're gonna probably be making games in the future. So I'm not trying to scare you guys wrong. I'm trying to trying to get you there. All I'm trying to get there, all right? Um, and my success depends on your success. So I'm only as successful as you guys are successful. I'm not gonna waste your time with BS. I'm not gonna waste your time with, you know, radical ideas. Anyways, keep doing what sucks. Keep it up. See you guys next time. Peace.